Good evening, my Pisces Collective. I hope you're having a wonderful day. What's up, Pisces? You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. Ring a ring a ring. Pisces, I was drawn to do you guys next. Gotten a little behind, y'all, but mm, spirit's been a talking. Pisces, what do you have in my Pisces collective? God protects me and God fights my battles. No weapon formed in spirit or physical against me shall prosper. I'm highly favored and protected from all evil, as is my beautiful Pisces collective. Pisces, what is your energy? What is your energy? Come on, spirit, please and thank you. Every cycle is a higher opportunity. Lucky number 13. Bottom of the deck is 11. Each evolutionary turn requires you to give up who you think you are. Look at the spiral energy, Pisces. So I don't know if you feel like yeah, things could be spiraling out of control or if you're just going to start beginning this journey, it's almost like of, of ascension, right? It could seem kind of flat and plain. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Spirit. With that black there, this could be still working on some shadow work, right, Pisces? And it might seem kind of dark, but you have to go through that in order to uh, get your uh, evolution. 13 and 11. So 1, 1, 1, 3. You got an 11 card. You got to look. Each opportunity, uh, each evolutionary turn requires you to give up who you think you are. You got to, this is almost like the death of the ego, okay? Uh, getting out of that head space, getting out of that mind space, doing the work, doing the healing work, Pisces. Every cycle is a higher opportunity. And you know, that almost kind of reminds you of uh, like the iris of an eye, right? So blue eyes could factor in Pisces. Um, it's all going to be in how you look at a situation. I'm also wanting uh, star seed is popping to mind. So that could resonate for some of you. That's not really in my vocabulary, y'all. Um, it's all in how you perceive it. But you've got to understand that that, that cycle uh, doing that healing work, doing that. Uh, I feel this is death, of, death to it the ego uh death to the ego death to an ego this is um whether this is your energy pisces or maybe someone you're dealing with um okay it doesn't have to be um uh, yours necessarily but some of you you have to go deep in order to elevate right you have to gain control of that 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 kind of the light and dark you got to have the yin and the yang the ego death is giving up the pride uh some of you maybe you need to make apologies you need to uh release uh, any negative energy, any negative uh, thoughts, feelings, resentment that you have, you're holding on to it and it isn't to your better good, right? Uh, this is when you're able to forgive others and, and release that darkness that uh, a situation, person, place, or thing might still have hold on you. You don't have to apologize to people. This is you, you kind of give that uh, forgiveness for yourself. Forgiveness is for you. It isn't for the other person. OK, but it's all part of that evolutionary journey. And a lot of you, it's 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 ego. It's all based solely on fucking ego and pride. Um, and you have to go through that ego death. That's a part of the that's a part of the process. You have to you know check your ego at the door because spirit will knock your ass down and, and help you remove that <laughs> if you don't uh, do the process. And we got to allow this a uh, one one one. You're 111 year old self. Yeah. Cycles. Starseed for some of you that, that that's gonna resonate for. So one 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 three one 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 with three smack dab in the middle. The one 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 three three three. That could factor into your situation, Pisces. This is evolutionary for your growth, right? And the ego death, the ego death has to come. Okay, everyone has to experience that. That is that is actually when you go through that, that is so fucking liberating when you check your ego at the fucking door right when you know who the hell you are flaws and all and that from that you're able to work and grow from it right this is see there's like a man and a female energy there that's that yin and yang that's coming into 
complete harmony with yourself. Because until you address the darkness, do you know what your true light is? You know, as a singer, in order to sing higher, you actually want to work on lowering your range as well. Uh, it seems kind of counterproductive, right? You think you want to go higher, you need to be focusing on hitting the higher notes. But to go higher, you got to work on actually going lower and getting uh, in your lower register. So sometimes things seem counterproductive. Uh, you know, the ego death, people think that means you're kind of giving up, right? But it's not. It's it's free. It's, it's liberating. It could seem kind of dark. It could seem for some, maybe you're like, this is fucking pointless. John, why would I do this? But it's necessary because it's actually elevation when you check the ego at the door. And you know, if you don't do it yourself, the spirit's going to bring in a tower and it's just going to happen and... Uh, you're going to have a harder time picking your ass up from that. So, you know, rem <laughs> when spirit gives you the chance to do it on your own and assist you with it in a, in a timely manner, choose that because you don't want the tower to come. Because with the tower, you it, it happens in such an abrupt way, you ain't got a fucking choice, okay? <laughs> spirit will check your ass. But I'm wanting to add Pisces. That could be your energy or maybe someone you're dealing with. I don't know. May, uh, we might be picking up on a crosswatcher energy. Well, I was drawn to the Rider weight, So I guess we're going to use Rider weight for you, Pisces. <coughs> Y'all uh -oh. <coughs> ain't coughed off fucking day, Pisces. So clear the throat. Uh... Pisces, I'm wanting to say uh, uh, cross-watcher energy. Someone's got something to say. They need to clear their throat. Uh, throat chakra issues. Throat chakra issues. The will of fortune. What did I just say about the fucking tower? When spirit gives you the chance to avoid the tower, take the opportunity. The spiral, right? In order to elevate higher, you have to go deeper. You have to understand uh, the, the, the shadow side. You have to. You have to. Uh, we all just can't be light. It's a it's a mixture, right? Uh, th think of... Um, uh, in order to defeat the dark, people of a higher light have to know how the fucking dark operates. You know, you have to... It, it better the devil you know, right? You take the negative energies and you understand how they operate. And then, you know, it's it's all based on choices. We all got choices, right? You can either operate in a higher vibrational energy or you can choose to operate in a lower vibrational energy. It's all, we all got choices. And we're all, and we all got shadow side, y'all. You know, ain't none of us fucking just, just shit and light, okay? This is the reality of life. But the ego death has to come. And this is when, when spirit gives you that opportunity to work on that on your own, it is far better if you do it on your own. Because when that tower comes, spirit ain't nice. Okay, yeah, God is all loving, but if you ain't getting the fucking uh, point, you ain't doing the work and spirit wants you to elevate in order to bring in good opportunities, that tower moment's going to come. That's going to be part of that will of fortune. And this is a karmic will. So, you know, what you put out, you get out, you get back. So the more work you do on uh, the shadow work, the healing, the ego death, y'all, everyone goes through it. Yo, when you're on that spiritual journey, sometimes, y'all, it's like a, a thousand little deaths uh, to the ego. But once you understand that, then you can move forward. You can elevate. It's all an elevation process. Uh, the You have to understand who you are you have to it's no different than addictions right i smoke i tried to give it up and one of these days i will but it ha just hasn't happened yet uh you know anything you do that you know isn't to your higher good it's like the devil card y'all uh and it's not always like a bunch of bad things it's just things that are basically restricting you from getting good Getting better, uh, dropping the ego, and then maybe you're going to attract more people who's going to be able to advance you more. Um, it's going to help you navigate the world better because you're going to be more well aware of people, places, things, and situations. It's that ego death, and uh, y'all, it, it's going to hurt like hell, but you're going to be so thankful you did it. It's like you, you, you know, you check your own damn ass at the door. You know what I mean? 
you're uh, you're just um, it's it's about the authenticity. At the end of the day, it's authenticity. The more authentic you show up in your life, the 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 more receptive people are going to be with you because it's like they know that you're not on some bullshit. You know what I mean? You address the issues. You know what your flaws are. You you can work to change them and improve them. And there you go, right? You've addressed it. You know what the issue is, so you're working on it. Uh, and who doesn't like that, right? If apologies need to be made, because we got the Two of Cups here and the Six of Pentacles, if apologies need to be made, then you make them. But if apologies don't, you know, you don't need to bring people back in because it was an unbalanced situation, then you're able to realize that's a toxic situation that you don't need to give to. And for some of you, you're pulling away from that. But you have to be able to operate in that in that yin and yang, the 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 dark, the shadow and the light, the shadow and the light. Uh, I'm wanting to say cross watch your energy so bad on this Pisces. So um, I'm sorry if this isn't your energy, but this could definitely be someone you're dealing with. Because we see the six of pentacles here. You've turned your back and started giving to another situation. You left somebody out in the cold, right? That didn't leave a good taste in somebody's mouth. Oh, hell no, it didn't. Look at that. Five of pentacles. Three of Swords in Reverse and the Nine of Cups. So someone's in their energy. And now Pisces, this could also be you. Take it how it resonates. Someone's in the dark. This is when someone needs to drop the fucking ego. Why didn't you get what the hell you wanted? Why are you having to heal from a situation that you thought was going to be a maybe a happily ever after? Or a good working partnership? Or a good business partnership? Why? And I've seen 1155 on the phone when I said that. Why are you having to let this go? Who was at fault? What was the situation? What was the grounds for this heartbreak, this healing that had to take place, and this giving up on a dream? And y'all, when you do this, you can't always blame the other people. You have to take your fair share of accountability, okay? You just can't blame one person for all your shit. How did you factor into the situation? That's dropping the fucking ego. You know, you can't say that every past partner that you had has been shit. That's why the relationships haven't worked. Well, what's the other common denominator in those partnerships? It's you. So, you know, you just it, it just ain't everybody else. Maybe it's just, just your choice in partners, right? You had a share in that. So the ego death is basically you're taking responsibility. For a lot of you, that's what spirit wants you to do. That's how you're able to elevate. And, you know, you either choose to do it for a lot of you, this is spirit giving you the chance to do it. So you can kind of do it on your own terms. You can do it uh, at the pace that you want to versus this where the karmic will comes in and you ain't got a fucking choice. Because usually when the tower shows up, there's only like one path out and you're going to be climbing over a bunch of shit to get out. You know what I mean? Usually that when the tower shows up, you usually have a heads up that that. A situation needs to uh, be healed. Something needs to be worked on. You know, uh, it's like the foundation of the building. You notice cracking. You notice crumbling. You know, very few buildings just, just fall down, right? There's usually structural signs that, that things are given way. So a lot, uh, you're given the signs that something ain't working, right? You're hearing the creaking. You're, you're seeing that things aren't right, And maybe you're just ignoring them. It's that ego death. Uh, again, Pisces, if this ain't your energy, this could be someone you were dealing with. Some of you, uh, well, I was going to say it could be a water sign. Pisces, and you are a fucking water sign. We got the star here in reverse. The queen of... Oh, look at this. Temperance with the queen of cups. Pisces, I feel... Okay, I, there's cross watcher and you mixed in here. You know which side of the, the fucking story you're on here. Look at this beautiful energy. Balance. Very intuitive. Some of you have gone through this journey. Because, you know, when you lose the ego death, that's usually when you get more of this, this awakening, this healing within. Because you, you release any uh, resentment, any, any anger, any residual um, energy 
that's coming in. And you got to pay attention to what triggers because triggering energy is, is where healing needs to take place. So a lot of you have done the healing. I think a lot of you have done the healing. You balanced out one foot in the water, one foot on the ground, that good yin and the yang, right? You're balanced. You're not overly emotional and you're not too closed off. This is that, it, that, that will of fortune just spinning around like a fucking little top, right? That will of fortune can just spin. And you know, when you're in this energy, you get more positive results. But then we got the star over here in reverse and the ten of cups. This makes me believe that you had to pull away from a, a relationship, either a lover or a friendship, family member, because they weren't healed. And you understood. This is that, that kind of uh, the shadow side, right? The star in reverse. It was a cloudy sky. You know who, when you were dealing with this person, it was cloudy skies. This person didn't understand uh, emotionally what the hell was up. This person, um, this person, place or energy didn't want to do the healing work. If someone's fighting an ego death, yeah, someone's, someone don't want to take any responsibility. They're still trying to decide. It's like someone don't want to step up to the plate. They know what they need to do. Let's get them cards right, y'all. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. But they ain't making any movement to upgrade. To that King of, uh, King of Pentacles energy. Someone's stalling. Someone's just stalling. Well, you know what? That's fine and good if you want to stall. But just know, when uh, that karmic will turns in someone's favor, the longer you hold off doing what you need to do to get your stability... Because, see, look, y'all, you can't make this shit up. We all hold that, that karmic will in our hands, okay? We all hold that karmic will. It's in your actions. You get back what the hell you put out, okay? And if you want to dick around in a situation, then that will ain't going to spin. But the longer you stay in that energy, not wanting to do something, then spirit brings a tower in and says, hey, shit or get off the pot, okay? You've kind of dicked around a little bit too much now. What the hell are you waiting for? The longer you wait, the closer that tower moment comes. Pisces, well, we got Scorpio showing up here. The death card with the Queen of Swords in reverse, Nine of Wands, Page of Cups in reverse. Uh, if some of you are waiting on a Scorpionic energy, I feel that's more Scorpio. It's endings, but it's Scorpio energy. Some cold-hearted person who might have just been a, a, a temporary type fling. It wasn't love. You need to move away from that. Because the longer you hold on to this energy, and a lot of you, it is it is an energy. Some of y'all got a two of cups person. You're holding on to a toxic energy you need to let go of in order for spirit to bring in the new. For some, that's what that will of fortune, that's what that opportunity is bringing in. The chance for true love. The chance for peace and, and harmony and, and all this beautiful shit. The Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups here deserves true love. King or Queen of Cups, guys, it's it's uh, energy, not uh, sex. When you're in this energy, this is what you manifest in, Pisces. And I seen 1848 on the clock when I said that. So, releasing from people, places, and things that can't get their emotions together. Someone needs a, it's an ego death. Someone needs to get over themselves, right? The only way a partnership works is when you're able to work together and you heal each other, not tear each other down. So, what energy are you staying in, Pisces? And for some of you, this is a decision that a cross watcher needs to make, right? It's someone that you let go of. You cut ties with this situation. Some of y'all ran the fuck away from this person. You got the hell out as soon as as soon as you understood the deception. So this is why this person could be going through that. If they're able to come back in. Do I see reconciliations? No. But the, what you don't see is that whoever the hell this energy is, or this could be you, Pisces, someone is guarded as fuck. They know they've been through some shit. But they're fighting the healing process. Some of them could be just sitting there playing the victim, acting all wounded and shit because of their own actions, right? 
They're going to tell one story to other people. Oh, they were so mean. The relationship was shit. Oh, it fell apart and they were so mean. And, and people are going to be like, well, it, didn't you have a part in that? Because we know kind of what the fuck you were doing too. So, you know, someone try to play the victim here, but it's really because they have really no, <laughs> no ground to stand on. This is that ego. This is that fucking ego. Someone just not admitting fault and moving the fuck on, right? Yes, there was problems. There was issues. We both had problems, okay? You're not blaming the one. It was a group effort, right? It was it was a, a couple effort. You both had a share in how things could have went. Someone is definitely getting that spiritual awakening. For some of you Pisces, this is someone that you're dealing with. But they got to drop the fucking ego. The hermit there, the high priestess in reverse, that nine of swords. And someone's... I think someone is getting into that mindset. Someone could be trying to do the work now. Maybe, you know, if they don't do the work, then that tower's going to come. Pisces, I'm wanting to say that if this is a, a union that was meant to be together, spirit is trying to work on the situation. But in order to work, you know, in order to get a reconciliation on any on anything, whether it be a lover, friend, or family, you have to first be able to sit down and communicate, right? You both got to address the problem. You both got to be able to have that conversation, admit your faults, and not be in a, an accusatory type energy. You're able to both, you know, kind of come dropping the egos to have that conversation. Because if either one of you gets triggered, there's no way reconciliation could happen. Because that's inner healing that needs to take place, right? You can't come into a uh, reunion with somebody or reconciliation or even partnership if you're not able to be on the same page to work, right? You have to be able to work together, work it in tandem. And even in the healing process. Yo, know, a lot of people want to call people back in for a reconciliation, but if that person hasn't done the healing, the situation ain't going to change. Just because one person evolved and moved on and, and did the work on themselves, if the other person hasn't, how's it going to work? Both have to be in a healed place. Both have to be in that mindset where the ego is dropped and able to put forth any work. And I seen 2233 when I said that. So, Pisces, if this is your cross-watcher energy, uh, I wouldn't hold my breath on someone coming back, which you never should. You should always keep moving forward. If you left somebody behind, you know, you never stop on that wheel of fortune to wait for somebody. If they're meant to be on that cycle with you, they're going to meet you. And I seen 2255 as I said that. They're going to meet you either at a little fork in the road where you both come together at the same time, or some of them might evolve a little faster and be... Uh, up there waiting on you. You're both on the same path. But you can't hold back your destiny waiting on somebody else to catch up. They got to do that work on their own. And if Spirit wants this person, this individual in your life, they're going to help them accelerate to get to the point they need to be. And you got to remember that. Five of Swords in reverse, Queen of Wands in reverse, Page of Wands in reverse, Eight of Pentacles in reverse, Seven of Wands in reverse, and the Justice card. If someone went to another person, some of you, this page of wands in reverse and this uh, queen of wands in reverse, someone could have been dealing with baby mama, baby daddy energy, very deceptive. If this was in a relationship, maybe that was, that could have been the person that caused some drama. Someone's baby mama, baby daddy, right? And that's why the situation didn't work. So in order for this person to be in relationships, they got to realize they got to, they got to deal with baby mama, baby daddy energy. While being single or being in a partnership with other people, right? Because this person might not be with this person anymore. But maybe this energy wants to be a little bit too much in somebody's business, right? There's nothing wrong with looking at baby mama, baby daddy when you start dating somebody to see how that relationship is. Because that relationship is going to actually factor into your guys' relationship. So pay close attention to that. And sometimes, y'all, that shit ain't, it just ain't going to work. Because it's going to be too much fucking work to even try to get it to work. If, if you're with somebody and they can't deal with situations, people and places and things from their path, from, in the, from their past in a healthy way. 
and this person is going to be a factor in your life, dating them, uh, whatever the hell. And if you want to move on to a, a closer partnership, like marriage or something like that, this person's always going to be in this person's life. So if they can't handle business with this one, and this situation goes to shit, that's going to inadvertently affect yours. So some of y'all know, some of y'all when you start dating, take that into account, right? Uh, find out what kind of relationship they have for baby to baby mama, baby daddy, because that's going to factor in. And some of you may decide that it ain't worth it. And that's not to say that someone with kids can't be a good partner, but you got to make sure that the relationship external to yours is on good standing, or that is going to affect what the hell you got coming in. And if someone wants a relationship, maybe they got to do the work in order to make that shit happen, right? And there's y'all, and y'all correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section. I don't think there's anything wrong if you give a person a chance, but you realize that the external that they, that is a part of their life. And this ain't even you being a dick or a bitch. You're going to be like, look, you know what? I understand that. That's not the issue you having kids. But the fact that you and baby mama, baby daddy can't get along and, and kind of has that conflict. You do realize that anyone you date has to deal with that as well. And, you know, if that's the toxicity you like, that toxic connection, that is not what I want in a relationship. You know, if, if baby mama, baby daddy, they can kind of co-parent together and make things work, then you know this person's able to keep a relationship going. That's the balance that needs to come in. Pisces, for some of you, maybe this is something you need to work on. Better connection with baby mama, baby daddy. Maybe that's the, the, the healing work that needs to take place for somebody. For some of you, this person, if you like this person, maybe you broke up because of that reason. You're like, look, you know what? There are way too much fucking drama. I like you, but I do not want that shit in my life. Good luck. Heal that situation, right? And I don't think, you all put it in the comments section if you think that's a dick move. You, you know who you're dealing with and the externals they got to deal with. Things are going to balance out. If someone wants to make relationships work, then they're going to get that relationship uh, kind of in check first, right? It should be amicable. They ain't got to be all up in each other's shit, but they should be able to speak amicably and have, you know, uh, at least some kindness because that child is always going to be in that person's life. So that, that relationship is always going to be there. And if it's toxic as fuck, that's just going to taint everything around because you don't know how your day is going to be a baby mom or baby daddy want to show their ass, right? And then you're basically being stuck there, getting the brunt of someone else's fuck shit. Especially a baby mom or baby daddy don't want this person to be out there dating. You know, some of these people want to stay put. That's why they had them children to begin with, to trap somebody, right? And when that relationship don't work, they just carry that drama to any other relationship that person wants to have in their life. And for some of you, maybe you were brought into this person's life to have them address that. Be like, hey, you know what? It's not that I don't like you. It's not that I can't see a future with you, but I cannot continue with that. And maybe that's going to force somebody to do that. Maybe for some of you Pisces, that's the situation you got to uh, look into. For some of you, this Queen of Wands, if you're dealing with baby mama, baby daddy energy, they're just going to try to sabotage every relationship that you've got because they don't want to see someone else advance. So they could be going through. Some of y'all, this could be baby mama, baby daddy energy going through that tower moment for spirit to tell them to set their ass down in order for a reunion to come in or a reconciliation to come in. So Pisces, this is a mix of Crosswatcher and you. Now how you factor into that, I have no fucking idea. Maybe you're the, the baby mama, baby daddy, and you're kind of in conflict, but maybe you met somebody. And maybe they told you, look, you know what? I like you, but I don't like dealing with this shit you got going on with, with who you got to deal with. You guys are going to be in each other's life for the rest of your lives. That child is too, and that's going to be part of our relationship. So if you all on some fuck shit, I'm sorry, I ain't taking that mess on. A relationship is hard enough with two people, let alone with the externals that you have no, especially this Queen of Wands in reverse. This is like crazy, crazy baby mama, baby daddy energy, right? Like just throwing shit up just to keep shit stirred up. Because Queen of Wands in reverse, this is a person that could have trapped somebody with a child and then when the relationship went to shit, they just want to show their ass. Because they're not the chosen one. 
Just because you have a kid with somebody don't mean they're going to stay put. How long has that shit been going on? That shit never works. Not in a healthy relationship. But the Queen of Wands, this is an energy that can't draw anybody in. So it's like they got to trap people in order to keep somebody around. They got to get their claws in somebody in order to keep somebody around. And what better way than with the kid? Because what do you do? What do you do when you throw a kid into This is cunt energy. This energy gets their shit back. And maybe for some of them, they're unable to move on because people kind of figured out what the fuck is up, right? If she starts dating and maybe the person they're dating is like, you know what? You need to get over your ex. Obviously, they're trying to move on, but you just keep using that kid. Because people do pay attention to the conversations, right? It's like, why are you fighting all the time? Why are you doing this deceptive shit? Y'all should have moved on. So that Queen of Wands could be single as fuck because no one wants to deal with their shit. These men are realizing if that's what happens, that's how you're going to treat someone you have a kid with. I done see the crazy you operate in. Fuck no. Right? Because they know, oh shit, you knocked this bitch up. She fucking crazy. Because look at the way she's treating the past one. Look at the way she's treating the one she's currently got. And Pisces. But balance is going to come into a situation one way or another. So take it how it goes. If someone really wants to work on a situation with you, then they're going to take care of the business that they need to take care of. And for a lot of you, how they handle the situations that they're in, how they handle baby mama, baby daddy, is going to be a really good uh, indicator of what you can expect. Because remember, 3133, as I said that. Remember... Uh, when you're in that relationship with them, that's an external factor that's always going to be there. The child's innocent in this. The child's just the child, but it's the parent that you have to deal with, right? And it's the parent that can cause the bullshit. So, and that's not saying that, that single people with, with kids are going to be a problem, but how they handle the people they got to handle in their life while still having a dating life is, is a really good indicator of how this person is and how they're going to be in a relationship. And for a lot of you, how the relationship is going to, to be affected. And y'all, there ain't nothing wrong with taking that into account. If this person wants to, to be out there and date and find somebody, they, they need to take care of the past. Someone's got the lingering past that they just haven't been able to take, take control of. And for some, that spirit saying, you know what? You could be fucking up a good opportunity with somebody because you won't handle the business that you just find it. Try to sweep under the rug, right? Well, okay, that relationship didn't work, but oh, we got a kid out of it. So it's not like you can toss them aside, maybe like someone's used to doing. But they can't handle that situation, but want to go into another one, right? It's a beautiful healing energy if someone does the fucking work. You know, if you want to, you know, deal with the ego death and make your apologies, make your amends, do what you need to do in order to aspire. So Pisces, this is beautiful. Is someone going to do the work? Who the fuck knows? Uh, if you walk away from somebody, y'all, you, you got to do what you got to do. If you're dealing with an external person that's always going to be there, and especially if you like this person and could see a long term, do you really want the crazy in the situation? There ain't a damn thing wrong if you don't want to deal with that. Because they need to learn to take care of their business. Especially if that person's going to be in their life for the rest of your partnership. If you wish to grow and 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 be with them. Y'all put in the comments what you think of that. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Uh, who is going to be an external factor in your relationship, you should definitely take into account. And not every single person out there has toxic relationships like that. There are plenty of people that co-parent that get along just fine and have dating lives. You know what I mean? They're, they even kind of watch the kids so the other one can go out on dates. There can be amicable resolutions to that. That's a person you can build with because they know how to handle relationships. Damn, Pisces, that got really deep. You can ring my bell, ring my bell, ring a ling a ling. I love that, Pisces. I love that. Peace, love, and light.